OK, uh, Dean, uh, this will be uh, your first Premiership start of the season. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good one to come back um, to, really. A massive game for us uh, against Northampton uh, and a huge challenge. Um, and they've obviously been fairly impressive uh, across all, all competitions this year. Um, yeah, obviously missing a couple of people, but the depth of their squad and the quality of, uh, of their, their team as a whole means that there's no easy game against them, particularly at Franklin Gardens and, uh, and the element of Friday night as well. So, tough game for us, but one personally I'm, I'm very much looking forward to. I don't think the team have got a, well, they haven't got a great record there at all. Does that in any way play in the players' minds or not really? No, we were poor last time we went there last year. We were poor in the first half. Um, I certainly remember that. But it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? Uh, if you're good this, uh, the first half this year, uh, you won't look back to last year, will you? So, I mean, it's, it's in our hands and the performance side. Um, they're a team that likes to really, really squeeze you, likes to put an emphasis on, on you. So the, the emphasis, emphasis for us is to be able to withstand that pressure, but also be able to convert that and, and maintain momentum ourselves. Obviously, a Friday night. Do you, as players, look forward to Friday night games or night games, as you prefer, on the afternoon? As, as, as a person who played said rugby, it's, uh, we, we only play night games, so I, I, I'm very used to, to playing this way. Um, it's a little bit different for others. I mean, the only the only main difference it's a longer day for us. We got to wait that little bit longer, and you got to bide your nerves for a little bit yeah, that little bit longer during the day. So um, listen, I, I don't think it's a big factor. Um, it might be wet and dewy, but this time of year it's going to be wet and dewy anyway, so it doesn't matter. Really you're recent back from injury, of course, you've had a couple of matches in the LV. Um, to what, at what stage do you get feel you're 100% back, or are you 100% back now, or is it still a little bit of playing in? Yeah, well, I certainly wasn't 100% in the first game. <laughs> I was pretty tired. Uh, and, you know, last week I was, I was very happy to get through 80, um, because there, there, isn't, there is no substitute for match fitness. So Now, I, I, felt, I felt good out there last week. Um, I mean, there's timing elements in, in contact and a number of things which will get better the longer you play. So uh, I'm hoping to make um, take steps every week I play, but um, hopefully my fitness will be even better. Than, you know, ho hopefully the hard work's done in terms of getting the fitness, but hopefully also that it will improve it as the weeks go by. And as a team, you're going really well on three fronts, aren't you? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's been a good start to the season, but uh, really the next three games is a real, real litmus test about where we are um, as, as you come up against... Um, three of the sort of top six sides at the moment uh, in the Premiership, which is a focus for us this year. So, um, yeah, I think we'll have a real chat about how we think the start of the season is in, in three weeks' time. I think we can really talk about it then. But at, the, at this stage, we, we've got uh, we've still a lot to prove in, in the Premiership uh, and all front, on, on all fronts. But I mean, listen, it could be much worse. Well, you put down a good mark against Bath. Anything else? Yeah, I mean, winning against Bath, uh, regardless of what competition, in, in what context, is always very important for us. It's very important for, for, for our fans as well. So uh, we take pride in those matches and, and yeah, we're very pleased with last week's result. Brilliant.